8 free tools to start game development. This video is sponsored by Brilliant, but more on that later, and thank you to these patrons over on Patreon. If you're a fan of video games, you've likely thought of making your own, but wasn't sure where to start. Fortunately, it's more accessible than ever with tons of free tools and tutorials. I've seen other game developer YouTubers make similar videos, but I wanted to make sure I highlight some tools that worked for me. First are obviously game engines. Generally, game engines are free for individuals at least. If you're just starting out, I recommend checking out Unity, Unreal, or Godot. Now, you could be bold and try to develop your own, but if you're just starting to get into game dev, I recommend just using one of the ones I mentioned. Additionally, for these big game engines, there are tons of forum posts and YouTube tutorials for all sorts of functionality. Which brings me to the second free resource or tool, which is YouTube tutorials. YouTube is one of the best resources I've used for looking at how to do things or just generally learn about game design. Some channels I recommend are Game Maker's Toolkit, Sunny Valley Studio, Adam C. Eunice, DevDuck, and many, many others. Now, I personally don't make tutorial videos as I still feel pretty new to the whole game development space, but I do occasionally upload source code for interesting systems to my Patreon if you're interested in that. Now, for the actual game art, there are a couple different options. So you could get free assets from very talented artists from websites like itch.io or Open Game Art. Alternatively, if you wanted to create your own art, you can use a couple different tools. So a free alternative to Photoshop is called GIMP. Piskel is a free pixel art creator. Additionally, I've paid for a sprite, but apparently you can get it free if you compile it from source yourself. Granted, I don't know if that's against their policy, so I don't want to necessarily endorse that option. And for 3D games, you can obviously use Blender for 3D modeling, which is free and widely popular. Now for the game programming side, there are a few tools that I think are vital. First is an IDE, which is a integrated development environment, which is where you'll generally write code. Now, different people prefer different things, but I highly recommend Visual Studio, which again is free to download as an individual and is a fully blown IDE with tons of functionality for developing, debugging, testing, and collaborating. But there are a bunch of other IDEs like Eclipse, NetBeans, and many others depending on the programming language you're using. Now, GitHub is an absolute necessity for any sort of software development in general and is totally free. Now, if you're not familiar, GitHub is basically a source control system for your code where you can upload different versions of your code base, roll back to different versions, and get your code from anywhere. Now, this is essential so that all your hard work is not just stored on your local PC in case something happens to it. Like if you accidentally spill water on your hard drive somehow, or you're moving your PC and you drop the box that it's in and everything just breaks. Additionally, if you find a bug, you can choose to roll back to a different version. Basically, it's like a Google Drive system, but for code. There are definitely other source control systems, but I do think that GitHub is probably the most popular, and I personally highly recommend it. Now for some free productivity and program management apps that can help keep everything organized. If you need a great kind of workspace area, I highly suggest Notion or Walling. And I've actually mentioned Walling before, as they have been a sponsor on some of the previous videos. For something more similar to a Kanban board, if you're familiar in program management or software development, I've used Trello for tracking tasks because it's super simple and quick to set up. But there are also an absolute ton of free productivity tools out there, and I highly recommend Ali Abdal's YouTube channel, where he constantly covers new and great productivity tips and tricks. Another great resource for learning not just game development and this video sponsor, Brilliant.org. But why is Brilliant actually helpful? Brilliant is the best way to learn math and computer science interactively. Brilliant has thousands of lessons from foundation and advanced math to AI, data science, neural networks, and more, with new lessons added monthly. And as AI becomes more popular, I think game development will be one of those areas it impacts pretty heavily, in which case Brilliant's AI and neural network courses will prove really valuable. If you're committed to continuously developing skills as a professional, Brilliant can be an essential tool, and its bite-sized courses are designed with busy people in mind. Brilliant's interactive nature makes it more effective in learning and building analytical skills. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash Marcella, and you can find the link in the description below. And the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. And thank you to Brilliant for supporting the channel. And the last free tool I'll recommend is actually pretty new, which is ChatGPT, or really any other free large language model. Now, ChatGPT is an excellent resource for writing code, working on game design loops, generating dialogue, almost really anything. It gets kind of scary. Granted, not everything is going to be perfect, but if you're looking for some specific code help and you can't find it on a forum or a YouTube video, I highly recommend trying ChatGPT to create it or debug it. For those who maybe have not used it, it's really simple. You can just create a free
free account at OpenAI, go to ChatGPT and give it a prompt or questions like write me a function to move a game object towards the player in Unity, or even something more broad and abstract like give me some ideas for quests in the context of my medieval cooking game, for example. There are literally so many different prompts you can put into ChatGPT. Personally, I've been playing around a lot with it recently, even going so far as to basically give it the context and features of my game and help it refine or find problems in my core gameplay loop. So those are eight free tools that can drastically help you get started with game development. If you have any other ones, please comment them down below so that people can look through the comments and see a bunch of other tools that maybe people know of. Thank you all for watching. If you have any ideas for game development type videos, computer science, tech, career advice type videos, please comment them down below. And on this channel, my name is Michael and we make game development, computer science, tech, and career advice type videos. If you do find that interesting, consider subscribing. Like this video to help your boy out with that infamous YouTube algorithm. We do a bad British accent at the end of every video. Check out one of my past videos and my past self would thank you dearly and check out one of my future videos and my future self would also thank you dearly. That's all for me. Hopefully I see you in another one. Bye bye.